Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 Day Trend, where we look at the weather patterns emerging for the first third of February. Now, it does look as if it could be quite complicated over the next 10 days or so, but there are some strong signals from the uh, weather forecasts, and uh, the main one being that it does look as if it will be staying generally on the cold side. Now, it's February, so if it's cold, well, we're going to see nighttime frosts. And yes, we are, at times, going to see some snow. But this is, as I say, a trend forecast. Don't be watching this expecting me to tell you exactly how much snow is going to fall next Monday in a certain location. That's not what I'm here for. Uh, there's always going to be some difficulty with forecasting snow. A slight change in temperature, a slight change in intensity can make all the difference. So there is quite a bit of uncertainty exactly how much and exactly where we're going to see the snow. This, as I say, is more of a trend forecast. If you want to know the day-by-day -day details, then watch the Met Office app or visit our website. But let's take a look, as I say, at the trends over the next 10 days. The main one initially is that low pressure is in control and the winds around this area of low pressure are coming down from the north, bringing cold and blustery conditions and uh, quite a few wintry showers likely to be quite icy on Thursday morning where we've had any showers and the showers are a mixture of rain, sleet and snow, uh, particularly snow across the highlands of western Scotland but elsewhere I say some sleet and hail likely in the showers and it does feel cold out there. Temperatures are around or a touch below average in the south but add on that wind coming down from the north and it does feel a lot lower than these temperatures would suggest. And temperatures will fall markedly under largely clear skies on Thursday night. So Friday morning is going to start frosty. Notice not quite as frosty, not as much blue on the chart across parts of eastern England because the winds will be still pretty brisk here. That helps to keep the temperatures up. And with the winds coming in from the north, well, a few showers are possible along the east coast. But for many, the wind's a bit lighter on Friday and generally it's looking like a dry and a bright day with some sunshine. And after that frosty start, six or seven in the afternoon. Notice, though, behind me there is uh, something moving in. This is a band of wet weather, and through Friday evening under clear skies, the frost returns. It's going to be cold, and the combination of that cold air with some wet weather coming in from the Atlantic, well, that does give us a few headaches as we go into the weekend. Now, that band of wet weather is this weather front. I say bumping into the cold air as we go through Saturday. And it doesn't just move through like a, a straightforward cold front. It buckles on Saturday. And actually, an area of low pressure may well form along that weather front. Now, that does a couple of things. It slows down the progression of the, of the weather front. And it also complicates matters in terms of how intense the rain is likely to be. And the intensity of the rain or even snow, is one of the biggest concerns as we go into the weekend. It's one of the biggest question marks. Now, I'm going to run through that sequence again and just show you with the temperatures. So we've got the cold air ahead of that weather front and cold air behind it. But the thin slither of green on the map here associated with that weather front, some slightly milder air. Now, again, run through that sequence through Friday night and Saturday. Just look how that area of green just get squeezed out of the way, but it's a very, very fine balance. And as I say, a slight change in temperature makes all the difference between whether we see rain or snow at the surface. What does all that mean? Well, it basically means that Saturday is going to be a dull and a wet day for most places. But whether we see rain or snow, that's the big question mark, and we'll be firming up on the details for that over the next couple of days. But there is the potential for some snow. At the moment, it looks like the main risk will be across hills through northern Britain. And then into Sunday. There's that area of low pressure which is forming, and when it's forming, there's always some uncertainty about exactly when it clears away. But it could well continue to bring some wet weather across the southeast on Sunday. But for most places... Here's an area of high pressure moving in for Sunday. So generally, quite a few parts of the UK look like being dry on Sunday and again with some sunshine. But as the high pressure moves in and that low pressure clears away, we've got the isobars still quite close together, drawing down winds from the northeast. And it looks as if there could be some pretty cold air getting pulled in on those northeasterly winds during Sunday and particularly for Sunday night. So Sunday night looks really quite cold potential for a hard frost in places and Monday morning uh, looks like it could well be a car scraping morning for the journey back to work. 
Now, again, with this little ridge of high pressure, Monday generally looks dry and fine. But notice there is a weather front waiting in the wings, and this will again complicate things through Monday and into Tuesday. And again, if I show you the temperature profile, you can see very cold air ahead of this weather front and very cold air behind it. And running through the sequence, it's almost a repeat performance of what happens at the weekend. The, the milder air, the green colours, just get squeezed out of the way by the blues either side. And that fine balance, but whether we see rain or snow at the surface, will re-emerge. Now, I'm going to show you, again, a slightly different view but of the same setup. These are computer models. Again, there's the, the green line, that thin slither of milder air getting squeezed either side. And that will be providing outbreaks of, well, precipitation, let's call it that, because it will be a mixture of rain and snow. But the balance between whether we see rain or snow at the surface just depends, as we go into Tuesday, about how intense the cold air is and how long that slightly milder air can hang on for. But there is the the risk of this band of wet weather pushing in during Tuesday, bringing again some rain and snow. And actually, uh, quite remarkably, by the time we get to Thursday, something very similar looks like happening again. Again, another band of wet weather pushing in, cold air either side, and so the potential for more uh, hill snow and sleet in places. So the main themes, yes, it's staying cold throughout next week. Nighttime frost, as you'd expect, in February, but there are these bands of wet weather which will have some snow in and stay tuned for updates over the next few days for exactly how much snow we're going to see and where we're going to see it. The Met Office website will always have the very latest on our warnings and there's always more through our app and our YouTube channels.